Hey guys, welcome back to more Cricket Captain 2016 and part 56 of the Road to World number 1 with England and today we have the first test match against South Africa away from home and this is a big one. I've already went ahead and cho chosen the squad. Um, just to let you guys know if if you if you haven't noticed, uh, obviously this was a daily series and now it's been a couple of days since the last episode so uh, you've probably realised um, or if you're not aware, I'm at university now, so what I've done is is uh, the three series that I've got ongoing, so F1, Cricket Captain, and um, what's the other one? Retro Games. Uh, they'll alternate on a three-day cycle, so one day will be t um, Retro Games, one day will be Cricket Captain, one day will be F1, and it'll keep alternating like that. So uh, hopefully you guys don't mind and that you understand. Now, I'm still trying to produce daily content, but if it gets too much for us, um, you know, I will be dying down the content just a little bit. But hopefully, for the moment, uh, you guys should be good. So, with that being said, let's have a look at the team. Um, we have brought along quite a few young players, uh, notably Hasib Hamid, uh, a guy that's just got his call up in real life. Uh, Jake Ball, uh, also had a call up in real life recently. Uh, Harkness. Thomas Harkness, uh, he was meant to come in anyway, but I don't know if he's going to start. Stephen Finn's injured, by the way, so that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, we've brought Alex Hales along. I know we had a suggestion down in the comments to bring him along. Um, he's had a decent uh, sort of time of it, really, uh, when he's played for us. Uh, he's had a couple of good scores. We brought Vince along, obviously, and, uh, and Bond, this guy. Name's Bond, Dominic Bond. Um and he's from Essex, 22 years old. Look at his form this year, though. Let's go on current year. He scored 1,500 runs, 251 was his high score, 73 average, 600s, and 550s at a strike rate of 60%. Dominic Bond will probably get a place in the squad. And, you know, I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> ben Duckett will obviously come back, but, um, you know, I'm rambling on here. Let's have a look at what we're going to do. I haven't went ahead and picked the team yet, so... Let's go ahead and do it. I don't think Harkness is actually going to uh, play. Uh, probably going to need Terry McLeod in there. Terry the legend, of course. Mark Wood, perhaps, will play. Um, hmm. We need to work this out. So who's going to play at three? Gary, well, no, Ansari is going to play at three. And then Root at four. Uh, Bairstow at six. Stokes at seven. Ali at 8, um, Bond, well, I, I mean, Duckett comes in, of course, uh, but Bond in very good form, so we've got McLeod, Broad, Wood, Ali, Stokes, we don't need five bowlers, really, uh, what are the conditions like, hmm, yeah, uh, we might go for this, actually, we might go for this for the first match. Obviously, Wood comes in for Stephen Finn. Um, and hopefully, he can do a decent job. We've got Stokes in there as well as a, as a fast bowler. Um, so, yeah, let, let's get into things and hopefully we can continue the good form that we had in the summer, winning series against... Um, oh, who was it now? Uh, Australia, obviously, and West Indies, I think. Oh no, there was only one home series and two away ones, wasn't there? So it would be Sri Lanka, West Indies and Australia recently. And hopefully we're going to make that four in a row with uh, South Africa now. So we've we've chose to bat first. It looks like a good batting pitch. But um, obviously these two didn't have the best summers. Uh, obviously Duckett is still developing quite well. Um, Cook, drop. Cook has come towards the end of his career. Um, and had an awful summer but he comes back and hopefully he's going to do alright but lunch interval day one we've only reached 64 without loss we are going to increase the aggression very slightly just to try and move the pace along a little bit and Cook moving along nicely into the 40s 50 for Alistair Cook so good start of the winter series for him and 50 for Ben Duggett very happy to see the two openers doing very well T interval day one 138 without loss if we can get the 200 by the end of the day that would be very very good these two going along very nicely 100 for the captain Alistair Cook 
I was oh that's four. I, I thought he was going to be out. So uh, let's push on a little bit. We've passed two hundred quite easily in the end. Um, the new ball's been taken, but nothing happened there. Well, bold. Can Ducker get his 100 before the end of the day? Alistair Cook gone for 117 and sorry comes to the crease now. Oh, and he's gone as well. He's gone for a first ball duck and all of a sudden Joe Root facing the hat ball. End of day one. We managed to survive. Well, late collapse there. 230 for two at the end of day one. I would have been happy with that at the start. 100 for Ben Duckett. But he's gone as well. He's out for 110. So three quick wickets lost. And these two now come to the crease hoping to uh, stabilise the situation somewhat. That's a good delivery. Not out. Uh, obviously, Balance had a, a, a decent summer. Uh, Root had a, a, a good summer in, in parts, a poor one in others. Lunch interval day two, 316 for three. Can we increase the aggression slightly and try and get this score pushed on a little bit? That could be out. That could be out. Not out. <laughs> well, bold. That was just missing. I feel like the game speed is a little bit slower than it was before. I don't know why. Uh, but 50 for Joe Root, good to see. That's a good delivery though, and he's gone for 57. Johnny Bairstow comes to the crease. 50 for Gary Balance now. Oh, that's three drop catches for South Africa now. Um, and they'll be very disappointed with that. So we pass 400 by T on day two, and we are going to just push a little bit harder, try and get maybe past 550 by the end of the day if these two are going well that's high in the air that's high in the air and it's four i thought it might have been six but a hundred for gary balance 50 for johnny bairstow as well excellent innings from these two south africa take another new ball we're going to go uber aggressive now and try and smack this hard shiny ball out of the park we're past 500 and well We've got another three overs or so. Um, oh, Johnny Bairstone ends the day on 99, 150 for Gary Balance. We start uh, day three. We have to get Bairstow his 100. There we go. First ball of the day gets his 100. And that is his seventh uh, test century. Very good to see. Uh, do we push and try and get 600? Bat South Africa out of the game? Why not? Let's try it. 600 already this is incredible really um yeah i mean look at this this is ridiculous but if that's out we are going to declare and it is balance gone for 187 that's it we're going to declare um 643 for five then is uh the first innings total and what a start we virtually guaranteed at least a draw in this match now um, and for some reason the, the space bar wasn't working once again I am just gonna save it at this point um, because I don't want it to, to crash so here we go Broad and Wood can hopefully make some leeway lunch interval day three then uh, and here he comes Mark Wood edged oh dropped been a lot of dropped catches in this match here's Broad at Elga now nope and brought to Baden Horst. And Wood to Baden Horst. In the air. In the air. Four. Wood to Elga. Mm, good delivery. Now then. Ben Stokes. Morn Alley. Now somebody was saying, why do you play Alley and McLeod? Um Mainly because Ali's a good batsman, but he can also bowl, and it's just like Ansari. I mean, if things really don't work out, we can bring Ansari in. It's it's such a flexible system that we have, um, and the fact that <clears throat> we have so many good spinners now is is great news for the continental to us. Uh, sorry, not the subcontinental to us. And well, I mean, they've had a good start here. This could be a run out. They're coming back for two. This has got to be a run out. Got to be a run out. Is a run out. And Ansari gets the first run out. Elga gone for a, uh, 62. And now South Africa 134 for one. 
So here we go, we're going to start with Broad once again after T and we're going to bring Mark Wood in as well because they both bowled fairly well. Uh, we're going to go to a good length because I did have a, a, um, a suggestion from Angles McManus uh, on Twitter to do this and well, we'll give it a go, why not. Uh, Stokes comes in to Decock, that's edge for four. Um, and now Terry McLeod, Terry the legend, what can he do? He can get a wicket and that's Badenhorst gone for 104 and South Africa are now two down, still almost 400 runs behind so they need to do a good job. End of day three, um, Broad and Ooh, Wood will bowl to start off with. Uh, still haven't got function of the sa sa space bar. New ball has been taken. And I feel like, yeah, it's crashed now. So I am actually going to restart this. And um, yeah, we'll see if we, we are a little bit more successful. Right, guys, we are back and uh, raring to go. So uh, we've started things off. Um, just making sure things were working. We're just going to go with exactly the same um, method. He has brought Elgar to start off the day well. Not quite. Um, you know, I, I am sorry about that. There's a few glitches in this game, um, and that's one of them. It's happened a couple of times, but luckily this time we had the save file, and we didn't have to start again because after that batting performance, why would we want to? Uh, we're going to have to turn these boundaries off because. There'll be plenty of them on this pitch. It's a very, very good batting surface. Here's brought Elga though. Edged and gone. He gets the breakthrough. Elga gone for 10 and South Africa. 46 for 1. He has Wood Badenhorst. Edged and gone. Yes. Badenhorst gone for 34. And well, now South Africa. 52 for 2. Stokes comes into the attack. Ali comes into the attack. And we're hoping to... Uh, Hopefully rattle through these uh, South Africans. Clouded de Kock now. Oh, that's a terrific delivery. That is a terrific delivery. De Kock gone for 41, and now South Africa three down already. Now McLeod and Arthur. I feel quite bad because this was certainly not happening in um, the well the first time round we did this. We'll start off with the spinners just after tea. McLeod and Bavuma. Not quite. Broad and Wood. Wood to Bavuma. Got him. He's gone for 83. Well, now we're starting to get into a bit of a rhythm. We'll start pitching it up slightly. We'll, well, might differ the lengths actually from over to over. Oh, what a delivery. Hall gone for 33. 302 for 5. Still 341 behind. New ball has been taken. Wood to Arthur. No. Nope. Uh, Stokes and McLeod. Edged and gone. Yes, he's gone for 115. South Africa 3 392 for 6, but still need quite a few to avoid the follow on. Oof, it's a good delivery. Brought Abbott. No. Nope. Brought Abbott again. Oh, what a delivery that is. Abbott gone for 12. They need 16 to avoid the follow on with AB de Villiers there, though. You can probably imagine that they will do. Six runs to avoid it. I think they've done it. They have. So, interesting times. Brought to de Villiers. Got him. He's gone for 107. We can really build a good lead if we rattle these out here um, Stokes now to Olivier uh, we'll bring Ansari on for a couple of overs actually so if we can get something he, go, he goes for 22 and final wicket now here we go Stokes to Hendricks 
He's gone as well. He's over 14. South Africa, a 501 all out, which would usually be a good total, but we have a first ins lead of 132. Uh, sorry, 142. So we need to push on here and try and get a good total straight away. Um, Cook gone for three, so quite uh, a dive from his first performance. T interval, 24 for one. Uh, we're still knocking on the door, 200 lead, duck it gone now though. And uh, hopefully these two can stabilise the situation slightly. Um, well, keep going, 231 in the lead. Uh, we are going to end day 5 pretty soon here though. Uh, well, start day five, I should say. End of day four, uh, 106 for two, 248, the lead. Uh, that's a good delivery, but not quite out. 50 for Ansari. And well, we're gonna, we're just gonna have to go for it, I'm afraid. Rudd seems to be really struggling, actually. That's four. Um. I mean, we lead by 300 now. I think get the 320 and then you're away. That's out though. He's out for, for 88. 310 the lead. We're going to declare. We're going to risk it. We're going to hope South Africa go for it and that gives us an opening. So here we go. South Africa 311 to win, I think it was. So. Now Wood to Baden Horse. What a delivery that is. Is it going to be out though? No. Wood to Elga. Oh, well, bold. Elga gone for six. And De Kock gone as well. So a couple of wickets for Mark Wood straight away there. And I will be back in just a second after this. And he's gone as well for 18. Back in a second, guys. Right guys, sorry about that. Uh, seven wickets to win then. This is going to be certainly a very interesting climax. Uh, the way things are going. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get something McLeod at Arthur now. Well bold, he's gone for ten. Hmm. Very interesting. Ali comes into the attack. It is a, a bit of a spinner's paradise, according to the... Uh, thing. Well, it's not quite a spinner's paradise, but T interval day five. We need six wickets to win. Wood and Broad are the men tasked with that challenge. I don't think we're quite going to do it, but what, a, what an effort this has been. Uh, yeah, we're just going to come up short. I think they've dug in now. McLeod Hall. I think one wicket could open it up, but Nah, it's not going to happen. Brought to Bavuma. Too little, too late. Match drawn. 162 for 5, the South Africans end on. But look at that. I mean, the fact we can declare on 170 in the second innings, that's pretty scary. 643 for 5 was our first total. And well, uh, South Africans only got 8 wickets in the match, we got 15. Mark Wood had a particularly good game actually, uh, 2 and 3. You'll be pleased with that. Uh, and his chess match average isn't too bad, 34 wickets uh, in 30, 360 overs. So probably looking at a wicket every 10 overs, there thereabouts. But... Um, yeah, then we draw the first test match. We've also got another three. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like down below if you did. You don't have to, of course, but me love for me and for the channel. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.